Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, I haven't done any videos for a while now um, but back collecting after a house move and all sorts of other shenanigans and I've got something quite interesting to look at. These are very new, in fact they just came through the door about 20 minutes ago. Um, so at the moment it's Macau. Uh, we had the sort of the local races the weekend just gone uh, so we had the Bayview GT3 Cup Next weekend, we have the Macau GT World Cup uh, with some of the big name drivers like Mara Engel, uh, Jan Cadella, Marciello, Van Tor, Earl Bamber, Kevin Estre, people like that. Um, but as always, we get lots of new stuff from people like Tarmat Works, Inno, Pop Race, people like that. They do a lot of releases around the Macau weekend being sort of their big event, uh, considering a lot of the companies do come from that region. So, I'm not going to waste any more time. Um, I've got two very exciting new cars that have just come, come in. They are brand new. not seen many videos on them, so it's the first time I'm seeing most of these. So, firstly, we have the Hello Kitty Audi R8 uh, LMS Evo. I think this is an Evo 2, isn't it, on this one? Um, there we go, LMS GT3 Evo 2. Hello Kitty branding. Um, now I'm not really actually a fan of Hello Kitty, I don't quite get the hype, um, but still, you know, it's an interesting piece. The Hello Kitty AMG, as I'm sure many of you know, is silly money and such hard, difficult to get. So I thought, I'll get this one, because um, I'd rather get it now, while I can afford it, and it's not got silly value. Um, then wait around, try and break into it, for it to become silly prices. So we're in, and you have to excuse me, I also have a new Cocker Spaniel puppy that she's trying to join in in the video. Um, so Tarmac Works doing a lot of these that have now got this sort of this special case. Uh, we've seen a few of the uh, Craft Bamboo cars, I think it's Craft Bamboo um, car, oh, so there you go, you can see the car is in there. Uh, let's see if we can slide it out. Um, so the actual case does have like a, a window here um, that's sealed. I'll try and break the seal quickly so we can actually open up the actual window box as well as just the cardboard box I've just taken it out of. Um, so yeah, there's the normal cardboard box that you would normally expect. It's then got this like over flap. Um, we've seen that on a few of the craft bam bamboo cars. Um, so Hello Kitty. I uh, don't really know much about the brand, if I'm honest. Um, it's very popular. Um, we've seen Hot Wheels do Civics that have had this livery. Again, they seem to sell out really quickly. Um, so, that's the box. Uh, Uno Racing Team. Uh, we've seen Pop Race do a few cars with Uno Racing Team as well. Um, car itself. Uh, we've got the normal collector's card. So, this is 3122. Uh, so this is from 2022, Adelie Fong, racing for the UNO racing team. Now, the team didn't really have much luck. They got wiped out in the big first corner collision that happened in race one, uh, which wiped out a good chunk of the field, including Darrow Young, uh, one of the Tory Racing Porsches, uh, one of the Audi R8s, other IR8s as well was taken out in that crash. Um, now, let's have a look at this car. Um, it was a really cool livery. Um, like multicolored, so we've got blue, red, yellow, white, green, you name it, the colors there. And um, we've got the Hello Kitty character. Um, it kind of reminds me of um, what's the books when I was a child called like Niffin or something like that. And you had that similar looking character, I definitely don't think it's the same. Um, obviously, they ran Michelin tires, a bit different to the Ferrari P0s, uh, which you'll see in the GT World Cup. I think the teams could choose what tyre they ran um, for the, uh, I don't know if this was the Greater Bay Area GT Cup or just the Macau GT Cup that year. Um, but it's a nice piece, um, very delicate aerial on the top, so be careful of that. Don't actually see the delicate tow hooks that we've seen before on a few of these castings. We do have a disc brake in there. Um, I do like the sort of the proper detail on the rear wing instead of the solid plastic piece that we used to see. Uh, something that Tarmac Works have done a lot of work on. You, know, you see it on the new AMG GT3 Evos. 
and the old Evo 2 Audi R8, um, probably on the new Porsche as well, I can't see from here, They're a bit far away, um, but yeah, really cool casting, try and bring it a bit closer to the camera so you can all see it. I'll actually have to do a comparison to see whether Tartworks have improved that engine. Because as you imagine it's the same engine used across all the R8s. But it would be interesting to see if there's any differences there. So yeah, really cool piece. And you also get this little booklet that comes with these castings. Uh, it's pictures of the car. So qualified P5 gives you all that information. Uh, there's some pictures, there is Adley Fong, um, did have a brief message with him, really nice guy, uh, I think I have his Bentley, so probably the prettiest car, race car I've ever driven, thanks to the time actually the opportunity and Uno Motorsports crew for making it reality, we had the place, we were competitive, we just lacked a bit of luck, we'll get them next time, and interestingly they are back this year with a very similar looking car, uh, so you go, there's the DNF from that collision, uh, which took out a lot of the top teams and their cars. Uh, race 2, he came home in 6th place. Uh, he also had to battle his way through the field with, with what was left of the car after it had been repaired significantly. Um, but yeah, really cool. But yes, they are back this year with a very similar livery. So hopefully they'll have a better run of it this time. So that's the Audi R8. Um, just put that all in the background. Next, AMG GT3 Evo. Um, uh, John Sibyl type, uh, John Sibyl Design Works. Um, don't really know much about them. I believe this car was ran by. It'll either be oh, there you go, Craft Bamboo. Uh, it's normally Group M or Craft Bamboo that runs it. Mario Engel drove the car for a race win. Um, obviously it helped, like I said, with the fact that. A large chunk of the, the other competitors were wiped out in that crash. You can see how new these are. I haven't even like taken the wrapping off or done the tape. Um, I just wanted to get this video out. Have a look at these cars. Get a new video up. See what you guys think. Um, not there as well. Um, so again, one of these boxes with the sort of like the window here. Uh, see if I can slice that over with. Oh, that didn't do it, I thought that did. There we go. So there we go, you can see how the window box works. Um, I'll move all that out of the way now so that we can actually see everything on this one. Um, so there we go. Usual Tarmac Works branding on this one. I do like the fact that it looks like this car is in its paddock box with the design on the background. Um, so that's pretty cool. Really cool livery on this one with the uh, silver chrome against the uh, blue paint. Get this one out of the box. Again, similar setup to what we saw with the previous car. So we have 1595 collector's card. Cool. Um, yeah, really cool piece. Um, orange. I like the orange mirrors, they do stand out. Uh, it's got a nice base as well on this one. Um, so yeah, we go. Mercedes AMG GT3, Macau GT Cup 2022 winner, Craft Bamboo Racing with Maro Engel. Now interestingly, obviously this is also from that race. Tarmac Works have Eduardo Mortara's car and another AMG, uh, I think it's Daryl Young's AMG GT3 from the 2022 race, so there's four cars from Tarmac Works, and you can also get, uh, I think it's Ling Heng's uh, Lamborghini Huracan is coming from Mini GT, so you can get a nice group of cars from this race. Um, there is that sort of display card, so it's set up to look like, um, I don't know if any of you have been to a race event and looked in the garages, the teams will have like all their branding on the, the walls of the garage, and they're like these little, um, I don't know what you want to call them. Um, like card things that they can put up around the pit to just make it the team's pit as opposed to just a generic garage. Um, we've got the uh, little nice little uh, booklet again. So that gives you some of the information. Mario Engel with the car, uh, P1 in qualifying. 
uh, Mars Yellow race the AMG GT3 Evo, and I wonder if that is what the uh, other AMG is. It's either Darrow Young or it might be Mars Yellow's AMG that Tarmac Works are doing. I've got a feeling it's this car here. So you can see this is the start of the accident. Uh, these three cars here are going to tangle, and it just it all kicked off. You can see the video on YouTube. It's worth worth watching if you want to see expensive racing cars getting smashed to pieces. Um, so yeah, he he was uh, winner of race one and race two, um, ahead of Ido Martara. Um, so pretty big result for the team. Uh, okay, it's an amazing feeling. Big thank you to the entire Craft Bamboo Racing team. Fantastic job. It was exciting. And although we had a tough start to the race, I'm very happy we finally got the wing. Now it's time to party. Um, so there we go. Uh, that's the booklet. And let's have a look at the car in detail. So yeah, we've got this lovely dark blue with the chrome sort of mechanical design running through it. Uh, obviously, I'm guessing John is a ball. It's something to do with that sort of branding. Theodore Racing, which is who Craft Bamboo are sort of racing under at the moment, it seems. I um, don't really know the full story of that. Theodore Racing, they did run a lot of racing in the 80s and 90s. In fact, I don't know if they're linked to Theodore Racing as in the people that built some single-seater race cars for, uh, I think it was Car and Formula One, potentially. Again, this one is running on Michelin tyres, so it looks like all the field may have run on Michelin tyres this year, uh, 2022. Um, really cool piece. Uh, I really like the base as well. It's got a bit of like a texture to it as well, the base does. Uh, again, you can see the like the detail in the rear wing strut. It's not a solid piece. Delicate aerial. Um, do we have delicate tow hook? Yeah, there is one sort of in the grill, just in here. Um, and on the back... Can't really see one this time, so that's not too bad. You do get solid mirrors on tarmac works, so those of you used to Mini GT softer features, um, no, they are solid, they will snap if you put pressure against them. But yeah, another really cool piece, um, so that's really cool. Um, two 2022 Macau racers to add to my collection. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I thought I'd get one out quickly. Uh, not many people will have had a chance to see these. Uh, so hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of what you're going to receive. See what you think. Are you, what do you think about the design deliveries? Are you pleased to see these 2022 cars coming out? What's your thoughts on perhaps the limited edition of the, uh, the pieces that are actually the Macau event cars? Um, so like I said, Edo Maltara and Darrow Young's 2022 entries, they're 750 pieces. I know for a fact I'm going to struggle to get them. I'm going to try, but I doubt I will get lucky on those. Uh, let me think. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I'll catch you for another video soon. Cheers. Bye.